Yeah, I'm um, Kath Pendleton, I'm 48, and I absolutely love ice and winter swimming. Um, we're here today at my favourite winter spot, Keeper's Pond, but that's what I love to do. I've always been a water baby since, um, yes, yeah, since a baby, I guess. I grew up in a very small village called Sunny Bridge, so in the summer we used to spend all our summers playing in the, in, in the river and they built a swimming pool just across the back garden from where I live, attached to my school. Everybody in the village swam. I learned to swim, I couldn't swim on top of the water. I used to swim underneath the water. It took them quite a while to get me to swim on top. So the winter ice swimming training, I started in, in the river just before my triathlon swimming class. And I, we didn't really know much about it at the time. And I fell in love with it after the second swim immediately. And then we went to a winter swimming sort of seminar so that we could learn a little bit more how to do it safely and there was a group of us we called ourselves the dippy dragons there was myself rachel um vicky and Roz, and we were just swimming all the time i fell in love with it completely and was just training and training and training and since then it's just become my life really so i try i probably in the winter swim a lot more than i do in the summer i think the last two years um, ice swimming's kind of taken over. So I was going to swim to this like iceberg and back, which was like 400 meters there and back. And I was like, okay, it was fine. This is after I found out I was going first. And they're like, you swim to that ice bag and back. So what's that? Twice, isn't it? So I'm like, okay. And then I'm psyching myself up on the boat. And I think I had this on, it was kind of hidden like this. And um Everybody shouts, orcas, and the whole boat all run. And I'm just like, and then I just sat there. My friend was just like, come on, it's like just big fish. And I was like, I'll see them next time. <laughs> and um, because they'd like passed through and all the ice had got disturbed, they were then worried that the float, there was a lot of floated ice everywhere, but there was a big, big chunk of floating ice. And they thought if I swam there, I'd maybe get stuck behind this size so then they said you have to swim we're going to take you in a boat a mile from the boat and then you swim back to the boat and i thought okay <laughs> so for me i always say i hate swimming in circles and like it was kind of a wish come true but careful what you wish for <laughs> because we stopped halfway and there was this massive iceberg and i start taking all my robe off and they're like what are you doing and i'm like i'm getting ready they're like we're halfway and i was like the boat's like miles away. I'm like, that's really far. And they're like, well, a mile is quite far. And I was like, okay. And they're like, well, at least when you get here, you'll know you'll be halfway. So I had a, an iceberg to know when I was halfway. <laughs> um, for me, I just, it's something that I found. I call it my reset button. So it doesn't, I, I lead a really hectic, busy life. I'm always running around here, there and everywhere. And like, if I used to go for a bike ride or, you know, a normal swim, my brain's constantly, I must do this, I must do that. When you get in that temperature of water, you can only think about the swim. So you start thinking about how your body's feeling, have my hands clawed, can I actually feel them? And it's like really, really strange. And that kind of being able to switch off kind of resets me really and gives me the, and it's the buzz when you get out, the endorphins after when you get out. I'm almost on a high, like Sunday's a really good day for me to swim because I go home really high and hyper then and want to do horrible things like cleaning and stuff like that. But um, there's so many groups out there now. There's so many groups, like when we started, there weren't any groups and we made, you know, some mistakes in the beginning and that's why we went to seminar. I think it's so important to get right advice because, you know, I talk about it like I'm going for a, a swim, you know, in the summer. It's not, it's, it's, it's really dangerous, but it doesn't have to be dangerous if you do it safely. I always say to people, just get out, have a go and, I always say about winter swimming, try it twice, because I think the first time it's just such a shocker. It's just like, wow, what happened? Do you know what I mean? Because it, it, it is freezing when you get in and you know, you get warm and you have your cup of coffee and your cake. And I think if it's something you like, you will get addicted really quickly. I got totally addicted really quickly.